Have you ever thought that you wanted something so bad that if you could just get your hands on it, your life would be so much better? And then you get it and like it's cool until you realize that maybe you only wanted it because you didn't have it yet. Well, gentle viewers, I too have had that same experience. I thought I wanted a gaming laptop with a 4K and 120 Hertz display. So when Razer sent us the first laptop ever equipped with that very thing, I mean, guys, this is two of the coolest buzzwords ever in the same room. I was understandably excited, but as I used it, I started to feel something, something akin to buyer's remorse which is especially troubling considering that I didn't even pay for the thing. Allow me to explain. Ridge Wallet is the sleek way to keep wallet bulge down with its compact frame and RFID blocking inner plates. Use offer code Linus to save 10% and get free worldwide shipping at the link below. I've been saying for years that 4K doesn't make a ton of sense on laptops for a number of reasons. One is that the largest 17 inch laptop displays are still too small for human eyes to properly appreciate the higher pixel count from a normal viewing distance. Two, the increased pixel density means that it's actually more difficult for light to pass through, which might explain the weak 310 nit peak brightness here. And three, Rendering at a higher resolution puts more strain on the GPU, decreasing both battery life and gaming performance at native resolution. On top of all of that, you then get to pay a hefty premium. The 4K version of the Blade Pro is a whopping $600 more than the 1080p 144Hz option. 120Hz on the other hand though, that is normally great to have. It's just that the highest end gaming desktops have trouble reaching 120 frames per second at 4K, let alone a gaming notebook, even if it's got a top spec, Core i7 9750H and RTX 2080 Max-Q. So what you're probably gonna end up dealing with is playing your games at 1440p with gross dithering from running at a non-native resolution or going all the way down to 1080p wasting those perfectly good extra pixels that could have been used by kids who are still stuck with 768p monitors or something. And in our testing of the Razer Blade Pro 17, these issues arrived right on cue. In our video playback test with the screen set to 60 Hertz and using Nvidia Optimus, which switches between the dedicated GPU and the Intel integrated graphics, the battery lasted less than four hours. With the screen set to 120 Hertz and using the discrete graphics card, the battery lasted less than two. And to be clear guys, that was just watching videos, not editing them. But the story here isn't as clear cut as it may at first seem. You see, there is a scenario where you would want a 4K notebook display, professional creative work. And while Apple has clearly been having a grand old time slapping pro on every one of its consumer products lately, Razer seems to have intentionally and justifiably applied the Pro moniker to this machine. Its build quality and design is very similar to previous Razer Blade Pros, but that's okay. The matte finish unfortunately doesn't stand up well to fingerprints, but it's otherwise clean and refined, but with a fun side courtesy of the RGB keyboard backlighting. The trackpad is large and accurate, among the best on the PC side of things, and the keyboard is well, it's okay. I mean, the switches are fine, but Razer has brought back the two speaker grills next to the keyboard, which appears to have not only prevented them from including a number pad, which is kind of an expectation on a 17 inch design, but it also means that Razer is still using their infuriating arrow key design from their smaller machines, which has me constantly hitting the up arrow instead of shift. Like it's enough to make you tear your shirt apart in frustration and then replace it with one from lttstore.com. I also found that aside from not even living up to the expectations that I had based on their size, like if, guys, if you're gonna put huge speakers right on the front of a device, they gotta have some kick. The grills on the speakers are an excellent magnet for dust and debris. This is just two weeks later, guys, so I'm afraid to see what they'd look like in two years. But, Despite those annoyances, there is no denying that the Razer Blade Pro is an excellent choice for mobile productivity. 
It has ample internal horsepower for photo and video editing. The touch-enabled display is factory calibrated with 100% sRGB and 98% Adobe RGB coverage. It has excellent connectivity options, including Thunderbolt 3, Ethernet, HDMI, and a full-size SD card reader. And there's even a headphone jack. So then you throw in Windows Hello, Wi-Fi 6, and you've got a bonafide workstation on your hands. Or like on your lap, like it's more under the hands. And while the battery did have a hard time keeping up, I would rather have a weak battery than a weak cooling system in a machine like this, and Razer's thermal engineers came through for me. While plugged in, not only did our Core i7 maintain an average of 3.1 gigahertz under a sustained load after the initial spike to 99 degrees while it was turboing like crazy, our fans kicked in and pulled it back to around 80 degrees. Perhaps more impressively though, is that while gaming, our GPU hit a frosty maximum temperature of just 68 degrees. Very comfortable, even for a desktop graphics card. Although it does obviously come at the expense of some fan noise. So it looks like then, rather than being an experiment in excess, the Razer Blade Pro is more like a Swiss Army knife. You can game at 120 Hz, albeit probably with the resolution turned down if you're playing AAA titles, or you can get some real work done at 4K, and it just depends on your needs, which is really cool. I mean, it's, it's more like a double-bladed lightsaber than a Swiss Army knife, but you guys get the gist here. And yeah, it's 3,700 US dollars, but compared to a MacBook Pro, at least it's got the horses under the hood. Not to mention a large display option. You know, you throw Nvidia Studio drivers on here, and even though it's not a Quadro GPU, it's capable of handling workloads that a short time ago were only possible on a large desktop workstation. The unfortunate thing is that rather than making me celebrate Razer's achievement, this machine ended up highlighting something that I feel is missing out there in the market. Like it's honestly kind of insane to me that in the current year, after how many years of PC gamers and hardware makers knowing in their hearts that 1440p is the sweet spot, we still haven't settled on 1440p for gaming laptops. Why? Why? I was being facetious there, I know the answer. It's because the universe doesn't care about people like you or me. It cares about movies. And movies skipped right from 1080p Blu-rays to 4K ultra high definition. There was no 1440p because artsy filmmakers don't play video games. They don't even think Marvel movies are cinema. So because no one asked PC gamers what they wanted, this is what we got. We've got a situation where the vast majority of laptop makers don't want to make laptops that don't have buzzwordy specs for fear that the public won't buy it. Hey, well that isn't 4K, they'll supposedly say, but I'm here to tell you, Razer and Alienware and HP and Gigabyte and I don't, I don't know, Clevo, that the gaming community will buy it. They just need the education and you gotta have the stones to make the product. Thanks Movement for sponsoring today's video. Your smartphone can tell you the time, but you gotta take a phone out of your pocket every time you wanna know. Actually, I forgot my phone just now. Your smartwatch can do that too, but you have to charge that every day. Why not just look at your wrist? Movement is one of the fastest growing affordable watch brands in the world. They've got 2 million watches sold online across more than 160 countries, and we love their huge selection of all around good looking watches. They're designed in house, they look super sleek, and they're available for both men and women. So there's something for everyone, especially with watches starting at just $95. A popular style around here is the Checker White Caramel. It's part of their black top collection and has a 47 millimeter wide face with a white background. It's got changeable straps for an updated look and a modern and clean design. They've also got a ton of accessories to help complete your look with eyewear and jewelry. Shop worry-free as well. They offer free shipping and free returns worldwide. So be a big winner this holiday season by giving them or yourself a gift from Movement. You can get 15% off by going to mvmt.com LTT. We're gonna have that linked below. I mean, plugged in guys, this thing is freaking awesome. And then when you're not plugged in, you're gonna wish you were plugged in. Speaking of plugging something, if you're wondering what to watch next, go check out our wireless VR video with the Origin Tetris Effect PC. It's pretty trippy. 
I almost get sick riding on a Minecraft uh, cart. I, no, really, it was very nauseating. I am tripled up on my merch today. 